Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Gear Grandpa KC. Today we're talking about OBS in 2024. As both you know, both programs have been updated. And the way to do streaming and keys have changed in both programs. So we're going to do an update on that. So the first thing we're going to be doing is showing you how to connect OBS to YouTube to do a live stream. Once we've done that, I'm going to show you how you can actually see your chat using OBS now the first thing you're going to have to do is come over here and sign into your channel, of course. And once you've done that, okay, you're going to come over here into create and you're going to go live. Now once that opens, you're going to get a, uh, this screen um, in the current version of YouTube. On the right hand side, you're going to have your chat and we'll get into that in a little bit and how you're going to connect that to your OBS in two, two different ways. But over here you have two sets of keys. I want you to be aware of this. You're going to leave this, keep this screen open and go back to OBS and we're going to do that now and I'm going to show you where you put these in, in your OBS so that now you can connect for live streaming. Now once you've opened OBS, you know, you're basically going to go over here to settings and go to stream and select custom. Now older videos show you how to do it a different way but truly that's what you're going to do. And from the two settings that you saw from there you're going to copy your server and you're going to copy the stream key. And once you've that there you're going to hit apply and then OK. Now you've got the actual uh, stream key set up so now, if you go into YouTube again and try to go live, now once you've done that and you've connected your YouTube to your channel, obviously now you're going to be live streaming and you'll see the chat on the second screen. Now that's the simplest way to do this, but what I'm going to show you now is how to create a sub-screen inside of your YouTube screen so you can actually see the chat. Let's get started with that. Now the second way is to bring in the screen inside of OBS. We're going to do exactly the same thing we did before. Going to go into your channel, open the channel so you can see it, right? Come on over here, go live, All right? Allow it to come up, and once it's come up. You see this top chat here? You're going to change it to live chat. You're going to come over here to pop out chat. All right? Now once you've done that and changed the live chat, I want you to notice right here. Believe it or not, this is your code. This is your live stream chat code. They moved it on YouTube in the newer version for 2024. So you be you might be confused and say, well, all the videos that I've seen show it doing a different way. You're going to grab this, you're going to click copy or and then move on. I'll show you that next. Now, once you've got that information, <clears throat> you're going to go into OBS and you're going to come down here to plus and you're going to create a, a browser connection. Now in this case I've already created it so I've created it as YouTube chat and you can use this for other streams also. Once you've done that okay you're going to come into YouTube chat and you're going to open properties And you're going to copy that key that I just copied from over there, the pop-out menu. And then, in my case, I'm going to set it to 720 wide, 1280. All right, accept it. And see if I can get this. Now, this is how it's going to look when you're finished. And you can adjust this window for your chat really, really, really easy, as you can see. And in my case, it happens to be... No, it's going to be that way over there and you'll be able to see your chat, your YouTube chat recording. So basically what we've done is we've gone over first how to connect YouTube 
to OBS so you can live stream. Secondly, I've shown you how to either by using a split screen, using the YouTube screen, see your chat, or how to create a window using a browser function inside of OBS, which allows you to see this, your chat and interact with your customer, your, your clients, or whoever you're speaking to very simply. Now, we have many, many other videos. Check out my tech news, my tech videos, my how-to videos. I've got a lot of content out there that you can check out. Anyway, this is your grandpa showing you how to do something simple and easy. Until next time, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to give us a share. And we'll be back with more content like this in the future.